Hello, welcome to Clarity Design. We are uh, having another quick tutorial just on uh, rigging. This one's a little bit more in depth. As you can see, I've made a little bit of progress since my last tutorial. Um, I've simply uh, renamed and added all the IK handles in. Um, I've also added a NURB circle by going to Create NURBS uh, Circle. Um, I've positioned this around the center of the character and then I've used Constrain and uh, constrained it by point and orientation uh, to the character so it makes it easy for me to pick up um, this central joint uh, be able to rotate the character around and play around with it. Just out of interest if you uh, want to you can change the color of this by going inside the nerve circle shape one uh, ticking the uh, drawing overrides and then you can just uh, change the color of this. Um, this can really help make your um, rigging features stand out so that uh, your uh, animators can see them uh, nice and easily. Um, you might find that there's a slight deformation or you might find that uh, one of the deformations that you are getting you don't particularly like and you want to change. Uh, it's quite common to want to change or uh, remove uh, skin weights um, to customize them to yourself. So you can see this isn't doing too badly at all, it's just Control Z. In fact, instead of Control Z, I can actually go back to, if I select the joint chain, um, I can go back to skin and I can go back to the bind pose and that resets my character for me. Um, so yeah, if I pick up the uh, left foot handle, let's just move that, you can see that there's just a little bit of movement happening over here. Um, so obviously there's a, a slight uh, influence on this vertex here from this foot here. Um, so I'm going to need to just play around with that a little bit uh, using the paint skin weights um, and I can uh, just take you through this process. Um, there's two um, tools which you find really really useful inside the edit smooth skin menu. Uh, the first one is your um, paint skin weights tool which we'll look at in depth. Uh, but also I want you to notice this substitute geometry. If you've got a model which has got a basic polygon mesh, you should uh, keep that model and rig it uh, and then you can take that skin and you can make it much more complex later on, uh, dividing it up and uh, by selecting both skins, the original uh, which has already been rigged to the uh, character and the new one that's been more refined, maybe in a program like uh, Mudbox or something similar, then uh, you can then transfer it in uh, to your model so that you don't have to animate with a very vertex heavy model you can do the animation with a low polygon mesh and then you can substitute that with a high polygon mesh later on making it uh, much easier for the animator to see things happen in real time and to uh, to animate and go through that process um, but for today let's just go through the paint skin weights tool so um, we'll uh, just click on this um, I just want to open it up here so I'm going to double click on the tool here so I've got the options opened up and I'm going to close down um, the um, uh, outliner and the attributes editor so I've got a bit more space. Now I need to select the skin uh, and then I need to go back to the paint skin weights tool. You should see that your, uh, your skin goes uh, black and white. The black shows areas that there's no influence and the white shows areas where there's a lot of influence. I've got this organized at the moment by hierarchy rather than alphabetical. Uh, and this means I can easily find the end of the joint chains uh, and start working up them. I like to work uh, from the top, top end of a joint chain back towards the base. Um, and as I work back, I will lock up um, different uh, elements. So I've got a bit more control about what's happening. Basically, uh, using this system, uh, we've got a uh, painting system here. So um, I nearly always use replace wherever possible um, and occasionally I will smooth things out. Um, notice that you've got a flood button here. So if I've got something like this, I could go to smooth and I could flood it. Uh, and you can see that that's just going to make this slightly more even um, distortion as the joint is moved but I can replace. So if I replace with an opacity of one and a value of one and I just paint over these here you can see that those vertex are going to become absolutely white. Okay. 
so that's picked up there. Um, let's go back up to the top, so that's joint chain uh, 17, here's 19, so let's paint those in again. Um, and we can play around with, uh, it's just, I'm just going to change that down to zero because we saw that deformation uh, last time, so I'm just going to change that down to zero and I'll paint that in there, making sure that there's no influence on this leg at all down here. Um, and before we go any further, let's just see if that's worked because you can get carried away with this, you can keep going quite a lot. So uh, we'll just pick up the right, f uh, no, the left foot and we will move that. And as you can see now, there is no movement happening here at all, whereas there was before. So I sorted out that little problem just by doing that little bit of uh, paint skin weights. Now that's actually where I would leave it for this model, um, because everything else is pretty much okay. But uh, just for the sake of it, let's just go back in and have a look at some of these options inside here. So um, yeah, if I paint with a value of zero, I can remove weights um, and a value of one, I can add the weights in. Um, I can uh, change how uh, this works uh, in terms of um, the style of the brush and uh, I can use stylus pressure. So really go and explore this and make it your own. Now once you've got a joint correct, so if you're happy with how a joint is working, you can lock that up. So joint 17 and 19 I'm going to lock up now. So I could move back to joint 18 and you can see in joint 18 I've got influence right the way up the arm here. Now I want to be careful, I don't want it to be influencing the arm at all, so I'm going to just stick that replace to zero, value of zero, and I'm just going to paint up here to make sure I haven't got any influence up there. Um, so that's going to keep the deformation slightly lower, um, and I'll leave this side slightly different from the other side. So um, let's go back to the top here, and let's lock up joint 18, mm, let's close that down and go to the uh, left foot and move that. You can see isolated, low down, no deformation here. And let's do the other foot. And you can see that that deformation is going right the way up here. Um, so the difference between the two sides, you can see how that is changing the way that the model is deforming under the uh, paint skin weights. So I hope that clarifies how to work through a uh, paint skin weights tool and uh, I make good use of it and uh, enjoy exploring and seeing how you can make a difference to how your model looks during its animation. All the best. Yeah.